thank you for joining us. Um, 97 days ago, I was right here after meeting with the president. On February 1st, they came down to see him. Entérate de lo último en noticias de Estados Unidos de América y suscríbete para que estés realmente enterado de todo. Saying, let's work together in responsible, sensible way that we can lift the debt ceiling and find a way that we can curb this increasing debt that is affecting every American family with inflation. And now three banks, or four largest banks have closed, are in the debt problem. Nothing has changed since then. The only thing that has changed is the House has raised the debt ceiling and passed the bill. That's why we had a meeting today. Everybody in this meeting reiterated the positions they were at. I didn't see any new movement. The President said the staff should get back together. But I was very clear with the President. We have now just two weeks to go. Chuck Schumer could pass something, we'd go to conference right away and solve that. But I don't think Chuck Schumer could pass anything. They haven't dealt with it. Unfortunately, the president had waited 97 days without ever meeting. Every day I ask that we meet, but he said that. The House has raised the debt ceiling in a responsible manner. Curve our spending at the same time. Bring this economic growth. I asked the president this simple question. Does he not believe there's any place we can find savings? He signed a bill that the House passed that came law that the pandemic is over. We have 50 to 60 billion dollars that have sat out there that have been appropriated for more than two years that we could pull back and save the taxpayer money. We could put in growth packages that help us economically. And cutting the red tape so we can build things in America again. We can have items that he actually voted for, like work requirements that just passed in Wisconsin with 82% of the vote, to help our supply chain get stronger. I would hope that he'd be willing to negotiate for the next two weeks so we can actually solve this problem and not take America on the brink. Y tú dime qué opinas?